California's COVID stay at home order has been lifted, but our next guest says while there's a light at the end of the tunnel, we are still in the tunnel and right now is our most challenging moment of the pandemic. The Center at Sierra Health Foundation offers the resources needed to keep you and your family informed and safe. With us this morning on what we can do to slow the surge and save lives is Sierra Health's president and CEO, Chet Hewitt. Thanks for joining us this morning. Good morning. Happy to be here. Well, let's talk about this. The regional stay at home order, it's been lifted for Californians, but what actions can we all take to really keep slow in the spread? Well, the lifting of the regional order is good news, which means our case rates are actually trending downward, uh, which is a very good uh, piece of information for us. Uh, but there are certain things that we need to continue to do. So we need to continue to follow the safety protocols based on a tier of your county, which is purple, red, orange or yellow. If you gather, continue to make it small groups. No more than three family groups should gather at any a given time. And remember to maintain your social distance and to be outside. Well, you mentioned- You want to limit you, your non travel. You mentioned uh, gathering. You want to mm -hmm. Yes. And, and um, so you're saying in a very small group, so really it, it's not ideal to start getting together because you still really need to be cautious of, of the, the virus. Well, you need to be cautious, but we also know that we're also cautious around folks' mental health because your health is more than just your physical health. So that's very important. And we know that people are gathering, but it is very small groups, right? And to be outside where you maintain social distancing as well. All right. So those two things. What about travel? I know a lot of people have cabin fever, and this will be the time of the year we may be thinking about spring break or some summer plans. Mm hmm well, you should continue to limit uh, essential travel to the degree that you possibly can. If it's not essential, uh, it's not recommended, and we would encourage people to continue uh, to follow that approach. Now, tell us about California Notify. I think I signed up for that on my phone. Yeah, it's a great system, and we're really encouraging folks to opt in to Cal Notify. Want to make clear that we do that data is not shared; it is your private data. But if you're uh, in close proximity to someone who does test positive, then they have the ability to actually notify you so that you would know uh, that you are in proximity with someone who has tested positive for COVID-19. And then you could follow up uh, with testing and doing all the things appropriate so that you could protect the, your health and the health of your family. Right. It's just another tool as, as we continue to try and get a handle on this pandemic. Now, for most of us wearing a mask, washing and sanitizing our hands, keeping our distance, it's now part of our daily programming. But um, how much longer are we going to have to do this? Well, we don't know. We're going to use uh, data and science to determine that. But I'm going to give you a, a big check mark because you uh, were able to kind of rattle off the four W's. Wear your mask, wash your hands watch a distance and wait to see your loved ones you got it correct so if you can follow <laughs> that particular advice keep it in our head those four w's we'll continue to see covid uh, uh kind of move in a direction that we wanted to which will allow us to open up the economy be able to sooner see the people that we actually love and get back to a life that's more normal the four w's that makes it a lot easier to remember and then there's been a lot of talk about the impacts of COVID-19 on small businesses as well. Yes, really concerned about small businesses, but if we continue our practices, we'll be in a better position for small businesses to be able to open as well. Now, you know, with the uh, rescinding of the stay at home order, the outdoor dining is now available. Barbershops can open uh, indoors with some modifications. They'll go to, uh, COVID19.ca.gov. You can look at the tiers. You can see what's actually available. The state is also doing some wonderful things to provide some support. So $500 million in immediate relief, both tax credits uh, and deferrals for small businesses. And we know that the 2021 budget the governor has put forward also has another $650 million for small businesses uh, as well. But as individuals, what you can, what we can uh, individually do to help small businesses, aside from taking advantage of this limited opening, is to also continue to do the things that reduces the spread of COVID-19 so that we can fully open the economy. And Chet, now we do have a vaccine. 
Some people are worried about it, maybe worried about side effects, but the science is showing that the vaccine is safe. 95% effective independent uh, science uh, review for the Western states is actually making sure that it is safe. I know there's been some reports that have been concerning for folks. Those, those are being investigated. Right. I'm not a doctor, so I won't speak to that. But the overwhelming evidence is that the vaccine is safe uh, and that folks who are eligible actually should uh, uh, do all they can to actually get vaccinated. All right. Very good, Chet. We are running out of time. So for updates and what you need to know, you can visit covid19.ca.gov. Thanks for joining us today on Your California Life. We'll see you back here tomorrow starting at 9 a.m. Have a great day. Take care and stay safe out there.